Way to win two to one. Uh, Tim, I'm, here's what I'm wondering. This, this two one win for West Ham and thinking mainly about the second half, mm -hmm. more about what the Hammers did or about what Spurs did mm -hmm. not do? Well, you got to give huge, huge credit to West Ham. That being said, um, and I asked the question at halftime, and I think this is going to start creeping in. You know, when you look at Spurs, three straight home losses, they haven't done that since 2008. The question. Ange Postecoglou, who I do, I, I love, most people love the, the way he plays this Ange ball. But ultimately, you, he's going to have to answer questions about some of the defending. Because here's how it works. The best teams who want to win titles, right, Liverpool, City, Arsenal, there are times that are very clear where they have to say, we have to defend with numbers, we have to sit back, and it might not be pretty, but guess what, we're going to be champions and we're going to do it. I'm not suggesting they're going to get relegated, but Leeds did that the last couple of years. They just couldn't defend. They, they tried to be expansive, always playing on the front foot, foot, leaving slots defensively, and they could not defend, and they paid the price for it. In this league, you will. So I know they like to defend with the ball. There's going to be moments you have to defend stoutly. Yes, for Anch, Anch Bowen, though, Anch Postakoglu love for such a long time, but the questions are now being asked now. Three home defeats in a row. That hasn't happened since 2008. I didn't know that. Wow, that's really really interesting but the question is this why can Spurs defend I know they're exciting going forward I know what they give mate going forward but a team has to have some balance and like he's saying Leeds suffered because of these things Leeds were relegated because as much as they were going forward they offer absolutely nothing coming back. And that's one thing that we keep seeing with Tottenham Hotspurs. And what is making it worse is because the fan base is accepting it. Because they're winning the games. Because they're doing so well. They're actually excited over what they're seeing. And this, it's a matter of time. I'm telling you, it is a matter of time before this backfires. Because they need to learn to maintain the games. They need to at least try to get something out of the games before we actually go ourselves and ask if they're even going to be focused to get something. And I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section what the NBC guys are talking about here because it's very, very important. If a team wants to achieve something, they need to learn to defend as much as you go forward. Liverpool are not perfect in defending, but they try. And because they're trying, it's helping the team to at least win games. Spurs, they are failing. They are failing to defend. They go forward and they are failing. Of course, their injuries are part of it. But it's important that they at least try to put something in there. If you know what I mean. Anyway, hello guys. Welcome to The Connect. I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. As we talk about Ange Postacoglu and his philosophies. If it's going to help um, Tottenham in the long term or actually make them suffocate. Let me know have not been able to manage the lead why what you've just said managing mm -hmm. and you have to you have to as a player be able to manage the game as a neutral it's great to watch because you know they're always going to be entertaining but as a fan at times you you want to see a team that's going to go like Tim's just said when things start to go against you and you can feel it in the game as a player when you are on that pitch you feel the tide starting to turn against you and when you do you go okay let's hold back a little bit maybe more in a 4-5-1 see this out and then we'll go again but they didn't do that so from, from my side of things looking at this team it's yes they'll score goals yes they'll create opportunities yes they'll be fun to watch but you have to manage the game better. As Tim said, that's what the top teams do. And, and, and what Danny's saying is it's not about changing tactics and going with your philosophy because that's what uh, Pascal was saying. We're going to play one way and we're going to play one way all the time. What Danny's talking about is there's, there's going to be 10 minutes in a 90-minute game where it just it's ugly, you run out of shape, just say, listen, everyone get back into shape. We're going to defend this for 10, 20 minutes. It's not changing tactics. It's not changing philosophy. It's just simply managing the game. Yeah, and it's making sure you don't give the initiative to the opposition. So you look at West Ham, what they did. West Ham came out in the second half. David Moyes, I'm sure, at halftime would have said to him, listen, don't be afraid. Play 10, 15 yards higher at the pitch. So they did that. Tottenham didn't react to that. So all of a sudden, you've got Bowen, you've got Ward-Prowse, you've got Suchek. They're all getting closer together up the pitch. And Tottenham at no point have said, OK, we'll drop off, we'll just deal with this, this then we'll go again. West Ham adjusted, Spurs didn't. What's the best thing you can say about West Ham? And what uh, they just just the, their ability to stay together and see the game out, and they got the goals when it counted. Yeah, because 
game management is one of the most important things that you judge a team you judge a manager with no matter what happens any manager who sets up a team we look at game management and poster kogla i feel like for the past 14 games or even let me say for the past 10 games because the last four games he has drawn and actually lost he has been getting away with this and now he's in a situation where he's expected to do something where he has to manage the game where he has to try to control the game because the it, it, it the football game is 90 minutes and these guys are even saying it correctly a football game is always 90 minutes and in 90 minutes there's always that moment where chaos is all over where there's no control where you cannot even understand what's happening and because of that you need a team you need your team to be able to manage the game to control the movement and everything that is happening and that's what Tottenham Hotspur are not doing that's what Angebo as much as it's exciting they're not doing because as much as it is exciting and attacking for the rivals like me we don't care we we just enjoy football because we will be watching this game not if, as a fan we are not emotionally involved you are just watching as football fans but now for the fans who are hoping that they don't lose the game now that's where the problem is because now they have to worry if they will get something out of this game or will this come back to hunt them how do they even get away from where they are all of these things are questions that will need answers and at this moment Tottenham Hotspurs or Aster up Anch Tottenham Hotspurs are not able to answer these questions and if they cannot manage the game if they keep doing whatever they're doing here i'm telling you they will lose so many games that it maybe it's gonna be 10 wins and 10 defeats and let me see you and i want to hear what people will say after the league looks like that it'll be a crazy one anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you agree with what's being told here and poster kogler yes to learn at least to adjust we are not saying that change your high line no we're saying yes to learn to adjust from whatever that is happening but at the moment he's failing let me know your thoughts in the comment section click the like button and subscribe to the connect we are back again by the way there will be the review also pre slash preview show that will be up check it out as well on on all the podcasts we are putting it as well in all the places where you find the football connect i'm your host sam and we are out peace subscribe to the connect